headed into Labor Day week, and it's also going to be really, really hot outside. So chances are you're going to be inside where it's cooler, watching something on TV, or even better yet, the movie theaters are actually opening up in limited capacity this weekend. Entertainment reporter Kelly Gillespie is joining us this morning to talk about all of your viewing options. First of all, Kelly, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's an exciting weekend. It is an exciting weekend because having the theaters open, uh, for me at least, makes me feel like things are slowly but surely returning back to normal. And we're going to talk about in just a moment what people can watch at the theaters. But at home, Netflix has a couple of fun options. They do. I'm really excited about both of these. There's a lot of um, variation. There's a sci-fi drama with Hilary Swank called Away, where she's on a three-year international mission to Mars, and she her husband and daughter behind, so it adds for some interesting plot points, and it's very relatable to now. And then a very fun rom-com with Damon Wayans Jr. and Rachel Lee Cook called Love Guaranteed, which I will definitely watch over because we've all had dating woes and I got a chance to talk to all of them about it. The only thing I've ever known for sure in my life is that I wanted to be on the first mission to Mars. You're confined to a, sp a spaceship, you have to suit up to go outside and you can only connect with family through technology. Who could have predicted it would be so perfectly placed for the current climate of 2020? It's just like crazy and you know, I think also like the through lines of like what, how this put it, how the coronavirus has put everything in perspective, you know, from family to health to hope um, and like that this is a global thing. You know, there's a lot of uh, uh, parallel things to the show for sure. With it being a three-year mission, there's a lot of risk involved. There's a lot of sacrifice that's needed, but I feel like some of the best opportunities, some of the best things are born out of having that courage to step outside of yourself or do something you didn't think was possible. You know, my mom and I drove to California when I was about uh, like halfway through my 15th year. And I say that because I had my driver's permit and I remember getting to drive some of the time and we lived out of our car. For a, for a while, and, you know, that's, to me, it was exciting. It was an adventure, but to my mom, you know, living out of a car um, to embark on something, it's just like, that's a big risk. And um, it's one that obviously, thankfully, uh, came to fruition. But, you know, sometimes you just have to like really jump. You have to leap and, and, and take that leap of faith. I want to sue Love Guarantee. The dating website. I've been on 986 dates and not one of them has provided me love. And then I think that it's relatable on so many levels because we've all had positive and negative dating experiences. So maybe, Damon, will you share, you know, a, a worst, a best a, a dating experience you've had? I've had some weird ones. Uh, one, I, I went to eat with this uh, young lady at a restaurant and um, she was extreme concerningly hungry uh, and she was just tearing that food up just <laughs> uh, it was it was nuts and i was like i was like trying to kind of cover her face like so people couldn't look because she was making so many noises and and then we finally you know we get our food to go um and and then when i drop her off and she gets out of the car she's like i had a wonderful night and she like gave me a kiss on the cheek and then took her food and my food. Oh my god! <laughs> and I was gonna, I was like, up, oh, oh, but we I just, just, I let her. I was like, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Let that one go. That's hilarious. I know. I think she had a tapeworm. I hope she did. <laughs> Starving artists, you know. Oh, like a starving artist, right? <laughs> That was so cute. Okay, so I'm definitely going to check out Love Guaranteed this weekend. Speaking of this weekend, a couple of interesting things are happening. Yes, the movie theaters are opening. At the same time, Disney is releasing Mulan now, streaming instead of in the theater. And there's something families should probably know about Mulan also. Crush these murderers, Your Majesty. Yeah, so a couple of things. You know, this was supposed to release in, in the spring and it got pushed till now. And so Disney decided instead of going theatrical, we're going to release it on Disney Plus. But what you need to know is that there is premiere access. So this is going to be an additional charge, an additional 29, 30 bucks um, in order for your family to view this. And if you are thinking of your whole family, check the ages because this one's rated PG 13, which I found very interesting. The movie's fantastic um, and it's mainly for their violent sequence, but in 
is something different than like say their Beauty and Beast or Aladdin's or even Jungle Book and so forth. Those have all been PG to this point. Okay, also I wanted to ask you about the theaters opening up. I know I'm craving some air conditioning this weekend. I was thinking about taking the kids to the theater, then I looked at what films were available and there doesn't seem to be much in the way of family friendly stuff, at least this Labor Day weekend. Yeah, I think, you know, the the studios are, are testing the waters. They're not sure what's going to happen, how many people are going to come back. So there isn't really anything that I would say would be family friendly right now. There are two films to keep your eye on if you did want to go maybe a date night or, or grab some friends. The Personal History of David Copperfield, which is like a retake of the Charles Dickens book, and that's by Fox Searchlight. And then Warner Brothers has their Christopher Nolan Tenet um, if you want to do some deep thinking with it. Okay, Kelly Gillespie, entertainment reporter for us this morning. Thank you so much, and you've given us a lot of options across all boards, and we're definitely going to be doing some viewing this weekend. Absolutely. We're going in the right direction.